Hi everyone, let's go through the solutions for the first question. For the first question, I put a header as units and parts because this is the method we shall use later. So let's read the question first. At first, John has some $10 notes and $2 notes in a ratio of 3 to 8. So this is a starting ratio. After exchanging two $10 notes for $2 notes, the ratio of $10 notes to $2 notes became 1 to 3. And this is the final ratio. I need to find the amount of money John had. So since this is an exchange, we know that the $10 notes drop by 2, and we need to find the increase in the number of $2 notes. Okay, so we take, 10 times, we take 2 times $10, we get $20. And we take $20 divided by $2, we get 10 So the number of $2 notes increased by 10 Okay, so you draw a table. Here is $10 and here is $2. So before, the ratio is 3 to 8. So I write 3 units is to 8 units. And for the change, $10 drop by 2, so I put minus 2. While $2 increased by 10, so I put plus 10. And afterwards, the ratio became 1 to 3. But instead of writing 1 unit to 3 unit, I write as 1 part is to 3 parts. Okay, the reason is because 1 unit is different from 1 part, the value. Okay, so I must label them differently. Okay, so I want to find the value of 1 unit. So I need to make this the same as this. Okay, so how do I, how do, I do that? I take 1 times 3 to give me 3 parts. Okay, and similarly, the minus 2 will need times 3 to give me minus 6. And 3 units will times 3 to give me 9 units. Alright, so once I make this and this the same, so a unit plus 10 must be equal to 9 units minus 6. Because both that represent 3 units. Alright, so from here to here, 3 parts. And here will be 8 units plus 10 is the same as 9 units minus 6. Okay, from here to here is 6. Alright, so from the model, we can find what is the 1 unit, right? Because here is 8 units and here is 9 units, so here must be 1 unit. Okay, so 1 unit will be 10 plus 6, which is 16. And to find the amount of money that John had, I can use the amount as before. Okay, because since this is an exchange, the total amount stays the same. Alright, so the total amount of money that he has will be 16 times 3, because there are 3 units, then times $10. To find the total value for the $10 notes, then plus 16 times 8 times $2, which is the total value of the $2 notes. And when you plus them together, you get a total amount of $736.